Pro Football Focus PFF named one player for each team that they cannot lose in free agency. They cannot afford to lose, as they say. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, it is Cam Sutton. What they said was Pittsburgh traded for cornerbacks Akella Witherspoon and William Jackson III in recent years, and both players finished the 2022 season with grades in the 40s. That's really weird considering neither of them played. They could uh they've continued to throw darts at the position without much success, but would be smart to bring back a known commodity in Sutton. Uh, Sutton earned a career best 72.2 grade in 2022, allowing just 0.76 yards per coverage snap, which ranks 11th among cornerbacks with at least 200 coverage snaps on the season. Um, with contracts with big contracts already handed out to edge rusher TJ Watt, safety Minka Fitzpatrick, and interior defender Cameron Hayward. Pittsburgh likely isn't going to splurge more in the secondary as they look for an offensive improvement. Sutton Sutton won't break the bank yet offers familiar familiarity to Mike Tomlin's defense. Okay. So I was much more on board with this until I read that, that little snippet there because bringing up Akello Witherspoon and William Jackson is weird because Akello played well and then got hurt and then didn't play well again, but he was, he played half a half a game after that. William Jackson didn't play one game for the Steelers at all. Practice twice. Um, throwing darts at the position without much success. I mean, Levi Wallace had a pretty good year. Wasn't wasn't a bad corner whatsoever. I mean, at a career high four interceptions, that's not bad, you know? Like Yeah. And the Steelers, I feel like more often I saw him chasing after people that burned him than I saw him Yeah, I'm not saying Wallace. he's great, but he's, you know, for a guy that shouldn't have started that got thrown into a starting yeah. role. I think he played well. Like if you bring but, you bring him back, like it's not like Levi's a question mark in 2023. Yeah. He's going to play a good chunk of snaps. But isn't that um, the isn't this the point though? Like outside of Cam, there's not there's a whole nobody. lot. There's no one that you're like, yes, we're going to be just as good a defense with them in there for Cam Sun. And I think that's the point that they're trying to make. Like there might yeah. be some depth at that position. It's not fantastic starter level depth. Um, True. Like, yeah, like Will Jackson is not not your answer there. I don't, I don't, I don't think. Like no. the fact that he only practiced twice, I think, tells you all you need to know. And Levi Wallace is not. I don't think Levi Wallace is a starter. Um, I, I I agree with it. I think you you might be able to argue for uh, Highsmith is not a no. Not Terrell a free Evans agent. would be the other guy. I think. Yeah, but. That's a tough one, but I'd still, yeah, right. Yeah. That's tough. I would but still, I, but like you could, you might be able to survive without Edmonds and just play KZ as your other, as your other safety, but I don't think you can survive with uh, Levi Wallace or William Jackson as your second corner. Yeah. I think I that know. the thing, the argument for Cam right now is you lose Cam, you have to fill two positions because you have to find an outside corner and an inside corner. Whereas if you bring Cam back, you just got to find one or the other. Like if you bring Cam back and draft Joey Porter Jr. in the first round, you're looking at it like, all right, well, Cam could start on the outside with Levi Wallace and then bounce inside when Joey Porter's out there. Or, you know, you find somebody in the second or third round that plays uh, that slot guy. Cam just plays on the outside. There you go. But he's so versatile that you could play him anywhere. Plus, he's a dime backer. I mean, Cam is just Cam's just everything. And, and I agree. I think that Edmonds is like a a one B maybe they're like neck and neck, but I do like, I think that you could go find a safety for cheap to replace Terrell Edmonds. If you want to, because that's just how the, the safety market works. I mean, Tyron Matthew two years ago signed for like $3 million and you could go do that. You know, you're going to have to wait till June, but if you wait till June, there's going to be somebody in the market where you go, okay, yeah, no, let's just go get him and hand him $4 million for a season. And, He'll be just fine. Like, no worries about it whatsoever. Where I don't think you get that with Cam. Cornerback's such a big question mark. Even yeah. when you sign other places. Like, who's the dude who signed in L.A. this year for the Chargers? Um, He played for the Patriots. Oh, uh, mm, I'm blanking on his name. I know exactly who you're talking about. J.C. Jackson. J.C. Jackson. You know, struggled, then got hurt, getting paid a boatload of money. You know, like Akella Witherspoon. Struggled, got hurt. You know, he was supposed to be the guy. The cornerbacks are it's 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 always yeah. a risk with corners. I don't think you're getting that with safety. Yeah. I yeah, yeah I would agree. Yeah. I, I think Cam is uh the easy one. Yeah, I think you'd toss names out there like who would be third? 
Who do you think would be third? Be and they must sign. Would it be, I don't know, like Larry O, Zach Gentry? Yeah, well, they have a bunch of guys who I think are... Robert Spillane? I, I guess Spillane. DeMonte yeah. KZ is a free agent, technically. But, like, I don't know. Like, I think you could find a DeMonte KZ anywhere. Yeah. Not, right? Um, yeah. That's... Cause all those guys seem to be on kind of the same tier to me. Yeah. And, again, and, and at that point, it's just about, like, positional need. And I'd probably feel like Spillane of that group like yeah, seems like, like the most maybe, important maybe that was the third thing that stood out about this little splurge is that uh they'll be looking for offensive improvement i'd put all my money on the fact that the steelers go super defense heavy in the offseason like yeah. super what do they need on offense they need a left tackle and a third wide receiver yeah that's that's it on defense you need literally everything you've you've right. lost uh, your entire defense you have four starters returning right like, so okay yeah, yeah, I, I would. Know. I would be really shocked if they draft offense before. Uh, they'll probably take one. Like, yeah, I they might see take them a receiver going wide receiver with, like receiver. That, with yeah. that second second round pick. But yeah, I could see them going. I, I wouldn't be shocked if they went receiver in the first round. But in those I first would, three I picks, would. just knowing I, who they are, like they got some weird obsession with wide receivers. It's very strange, mm -hmm. and I think it's got to be the right one. I think it's got to be Jordan. Like if it's Jordan Addison. Maybe depending on who else is there. Like if it's yeah. Joey Joey Porter Jr. versus Jordan Addison, you got a decision to make because both of those guys have connections straight to Pittsburgh. They're both very talented. You know what I mean? That's like that's that is the cream of the crop for the Pittsburgh Steelers. If you have a tie to the Steelers organization somehow mm -hmm. or another, it and you're matter good, how, yeah, doesn't matter how distant it is. It's no, yeah, yeah, does not, yeah, Joey Porter Jr. I mean. I'm almost positive Joey Porter, his dad was in the facility for, I don't know, weeks during the season. And the only reason I could come up with is because he's just showing face just so that he knows. He's just getting familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Like if, if it happens, if he's there, they're going to think about it because they're like, well, Joey's, a, you know, Joey's a good guy. He hangs out here all the time. He'll be a good mentor. You know what I'm saying? And Jordan, like, that's easy. You know, they're. They'd be Art Rooney would be licking his chops back there, just like get him over here. The next Jamar Chase, bring him in, bring no questions asked because he gets the final call. And I mm -hmm. think those two, like in the tiers of Pittsburgh Steelers draft talk right now, it's like Joey Porter Jr., Jordan Addison, the next guy, yeah. whoever whoever the next guy is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, if it's not Jordan Addison, I agree it will be heavy defense, heavy defense.